And there are just some things that are not comfortable for white people. They're not comfortable for them to talk about the possibility that Africans were here before the Europeans. So what do you do with the heads in Mexico that you find at San Lorenzo, at Tres Zapotes? What do you do with those? All right? You ignore them. What do you do with Columbus's diary that says the Africans know a way to the West, but it goes around the doldrums, we would never survive? What do you do with that? You ignore it. What do you do with Balboa's diary that says, we came upon this African village in the Isthmus? How did these Africans get here? What do you do with that? You ignore it. Why? To preserve the myth that the Europeans were here first. What do you do with all of this written literature and history that says that Abubakari the second of Mali sent 200 ships to the west and one came back and said they were afraid that the others disappeared and then to have Balboa find this village that looks just like Mali where he was what do you do with this information you ignore it you ignore it why to preserve the myth of white superiority that's what our whole educational process is devoted to what do you do with this whole history? This is a written history, my dear, written. I'm not talking about hearsay. I'm not talking about a griot said this. I'm not talking about something handed down from one generation to the other through voice. I'm talking about written history of the Egyptians. What do you do with this? You ignore it.